As homesteaders, we are always looking for different preserving techniques and methods to help preserve our food here on the farm. And I'm excited to give this one a try because even though we didn't have as many eggs this year, we have had years where our little laying hens have been like rock stars and we couldn't even like give them away. That's, that's how many eggs we would have, like cartons of um, eggs. And this year we didn't have as many. We did have a good amount, at least for our family, but we weren't able to sell a whole bunch. This seems like a winner. So this is the first time that I'm doing it. Um, it's called water glassing. For this method, all you need is filtered water, some pickling lime, which is calcium hydroxide. You wanna make sure that you get the right kind of lime. Um, I think this one is mainly from like oyster shells, so it's natural and safe. You also want your clean eggs, and these should have the bloom still intact, so that is that little protective layer that God put on there to protect the inside of the eggs, which is really amazing. And you wanna make sure that that's intact so that no bad bacteria or anything like that can get through. For this method, your eggs, if done properly, will last for like 12 to 18 months. Some people even say that they have been able to enjoy their farm fresh eggs as if they were just laid by the hens for two years. Now, I don't think ours is gonna last that long, especially since we didn't get that many this year, um, but I'm really excited to see how long it, it will last. You're also going to need a kitchen scale and some measuring spoons. Sourcing your eggs is really important. Um, if you're going to get eggs from a friend who has some backyard chickens, or if you have a local farmer that you're going with, you wanna make sure that they are not washing the eggs, that they are not disturbing that bloom, that protective layer, like I mentioned, um, around the egg. And you definitely do not wanna use store-bought eggs because those have been washed. So again, we're trying to keep the eggs as fresh as possible, submerged into this pickling lime um, and water mixture and we just use it basically like you would your regular farm fresh eggs. When you need an egg, you just crack it open and if, it, if it's done properly, your egg will taste like it was just collected today or yesterday. So I mixed it up. Looks a lot like milk, doesn't it? You want to mix it really well so that the pickling lime is all dissolved. So when you put these in here, you want to keep the pointy part facing down as best as you can. I'm excited to see how this works and how long it lasts. I've seen some homesteaders where they put it in a five gallon bucket. That's where you've got some serious laying hens on your farm. We do not, but we have been adding on to our, our flock each year. They're kind of moving around a little more than I'd like them to, but that's okay. We have some hens that lay like these really large ones. And we just added Chanticleers that also lay large brown eggs. And then we also have our Easter egg layers, which I love because they produce the super beautiful, like light green eggs. If I need more liquid, then I can easily make some more and just pour it in. But this should be enough, I would think. There will be some settling of the lime mixture or the powder, and that's okay. That's gonna happen.
Oh, I didn't count. Hmm. I didn't count how many I put in there. That would have been good to know, especially since some of them were larger. But I probably could fit another one if it was a little smaller, but I don't know that I can fit another big one. Okay, so I added some water. There is settling. I'm not gonna take all the eggs back out, but um, use a whisk, one of those metal whisks, and just whisk it up um, better than I did. I think it'll be fine though. And I'm adding a little extra water because I wanna make sure that the eggs are completely submerged. And now I am just placing an airtight lid on top because we don't want any bad stuff to start growing in there. And then I'm going to keep this in our pantry where it's cool and it's dark. And then when we need to use it, we will bring it out and we will use it just like you would one of these that were laid just today. Pretty cool. is a Misfits Market Week. So they just delivered our produce and it's not a big order, but we were almost out of sauerkraut. So I needed more cabbage and I love that they have a variety of organic vegetables that we can order and it comes straight to our house. This is not a paid advertisement, um, but I do have a referral code if you would like to give them a try. I like being able to use them during those times where it's really busy and I can't get to the grocery store. Our grocery store is really 45 minutes to an hour away to be able to get good organic produce. And um, I just really like the convenience of being able to order online and then them ship it right to our door. So you can see why they're called Misfits Market because some of the produce looks like this and also like this and you can get a good discount. This cilantro doesn't look the best, but our cilantro uh, in our garden stopped producing a while ago. It started to bolt. Same thing with our zucchini. So I went ahead and ordered some zucchini. Same thing with our cucumbers. So I went and ordered some English cucumbers. They have the best green beans. Um, so I kind of stocked up on that as well as their Brussels sprouts. Those are really good as well. They're not bitter at all. And then some green onions. And you can see those kind of look beat up, but they're fine, they, they're still edible. Some um, avocados, some mushrooms, and then some um, sweet corn, and then some pears. So just to kind of snack on. We also like the goji berries, that, the brand of goji berries that they have. It is pricey. But even in the regular store, goji berries are, but they're so good for you. There's so many different health benefits. Um, and then we also enjoy eating some of their dried mangoes. And there is no sugar added to this. It's organic and non-GMO, and it's just dried mangoes, which I really, really enjoy eating that. It's like candy, except it's from nature, which that is really the best kind of candy, isn't it? This was interesting. I didn't order this 
but somebody added two diced tomatoes, product of Italy. So I'll give that a try today as I'm making our chili. Instead of using our diced tomatoes or our frozen tomatoes from last year's harvest, I'll go ahead and give these a try and see how we like it. 